Moonrakers is a game of shipbuilding, temporary alliances, and shrewd negotiation set in a space-faring future. The players form a loose band of mercenaries, but while they're united in name, actual alliances are shaky as players are pitted against each other in the quest to become the new leader of the Moonrakers. Hello everyone and welcome back to Game Brigade. I'm your host Brian and on this show we do reviews, previews, and playthroughs of your favorite games. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Moonrakers. This is a new Kickstarter that I just received in the mail, so we're going to be unboxing it and taking a look at the contents inside. Uh, for clarification, I also, uh, I don't normally do this, but I did buy the sleeves that came with this game, uh, mostly because they had some odd looking sleeves, odd looking card sizes, and this would have been impossible for me to find on my own. So I did the one thing I never do, and that's buy sleeves to the company. But I just wanted to make sure I told you guys that. So. We do have some sleeves for this game. So Moonrakers. Moonrakers is a game that is uh, set in space. We are all going to be mercenaries. And we are working together, but not. Because the end game of the goal is to become the, the, the leader of the Moonrakers. So you're going to be taking contracts. You're going to be, sh uh, it's a deck building game. And you'll be building your ships, completing contracts, forming alliances, backstabbing your alliances, working together so that you could push yourself to the top. It's almost like crabs. If you ever know, if you put crabs in a bucket, they'll kind of pull each other down, trying to become the best. So we'll go ahead and show you the uh, back of this game as well, as well as the front. And we'll have some good B-roll for this so you can see the B-roll as well. Um, so this game I picked up on Kickstarter because I was looking for more traditional, um, deck building games i didn't have very many traditional games that i that i've enjoyed playing as of late so i was like i was looking for one this came up and i really like the idea of working together and forming alliances uh, but really you're you're still out for yourself oh sorry for that sound so yeah i'm going to be upgrading my uh oh boy Oh, I didn't do some of the, the housekeeping that I normally do. Let's let's do some housekeeping and then we'll continue. Uh, just so everyone is aware, we have still two giveaways going on. But the day that this video is uploaded, the first giveaway, which is the Wingspan Digital Edition, will be coming to an end. So this will be uploaded at 5 a.m. Uh, Eastern. When I wake up, I will go to the computer and do a giveaway rounded uh, random giveaway winner through my Instagram story. So make sure you check your Instagram if you have signed up for that giveaway. There is That means there is still technically time by the time this is uploaded for you to get your entry in. So if you are interested to that, so to enter, you're gonna go to my Game Brigade Instagram channel. You're gonna go for the 7th Citadel post, the should you back it. You wanna make sure you're following my channel, tag your friend and leave a comment with somewhere in hashtag Wingspan Digital. That way you can get entered in. I will be doing that giveaway on Friday. The second giveaway, of course, is the 3,000 subscriber count giveaway for the Oathsworn $99 pledge level. If you are still interested in that, we'll have a video link up here for you to click on to hear all about the entry rules, and we'll have more details later in the video for that giveaway. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Moon Rakers. First off, I love the box design. It's got some gold uh, lace here in terms of the design. It's a really pretty box. The colors are great, and I kind of like the neon colors here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay. Let's go and put this guy right here. So first off, we have a manual. It says Moonrakers Kickstarter Exclusive Edition. Uh, so this is going to be the manual. I like the design of this. It gives you kind of like it's a computer system booting up. And uh, we have some... Uh, I want to make sure nothing here is secret, but it doesn't look like there's anything too sad. So this is just a, it almost reminds me of a computer manual in terms of the, uh, a manual for, for the game. It's a computer manual though. It's very interesting. So this is the manual for the game. Okay. looks like we have a comic book, Moonraker's Origins. Sweet. Look at those designs. Look at those pictures. Well, this will be interesting to read. 
and get some backstory to my card game. Okay. So in here, it looks like we have some player boards, potentially. Or this could be a menagerie as well. I think the player boards are actually your ship. So let me take a look at this before we get to the, those. So I have an idea what these are. Yeah, so these are ships. And they say um, command terminal. So you have the purple, blue, green, uh, orange, and yellow ships. And then on here, it looks like you have parts where you will be equipping and upgrading your ship. So you have one, two, three, and four. You have sections here. You have default loadout down here, whatever that means. They are not double-sided. And then you have over here, it says draw, objectives, and discard. So this is your player boards. We have five of these. So that means this is probably uh, a common area for people to uh, get missions or whatnot. Yeah, so this says dispatch. You have some prestige level here. It says contract board, objective vault, ship part supply, uh, and crew manifest. And this says vault. The texture on this is very interesting. It's nice and smooth, but all of the, uh, the graphical arts have a little bit of a raised edge on it. So kind of that nice tactile feel as you rub your fingers on it. Really, really nice. Okay. We have Veiled Fate. You know what's funny? This just came out. I think it came out today. The day I, I'm filming this. I had planned on covering it, but I wanted to do the unboxing before I, I actually dives into its uh, Kickstarter. But this is their newest Kickstarter. So the same company, Veiled Fate, coming to Kickstarter October 2020. Veiledfate.com if you're interested in checking that out. So they did have um, an optional buy in the pledge manager for metal ships. I did not opt for the metal ships, but we have here some plastic ships to, for each player to represent their, their ship. I admit that I would feeling these, these are very chintzy feeling. They feel like kids toys and you could probably run to target and buy little ships to represent ships better than these things. These are pretty chintzy, but um, at least they're in the player colors. So we have five of those. Yeah. Okay. So we looks like here it's built out a nice little um, prefab design here so we can put our stuff back nice and easy. We have metal coins in really heavy duty bags. So it looks like, uh, I can't tell if there's, it looks like there's a couple denominations here of coins. So it says three on some of these. These are all $3 coins. Really good weight. Man, I'm gonna have so many metal coins. There's gotta be a video there where I can talk about when you can stop buying metal coins for a Kickstarter, right? Like that, that's, that could be content, right? At what point, and, and the thing is, is I need to learn that answer myself before I could tell you guys the answer. But at some point, there's gotta be a time where you say, I think I have enough metal coins. So these are all ones. I, don't, I was seeing if there's any twos, but there's not. So these are all ones. So we have the domina denominations of ones and threes for the coins. We have two packs of those. And then we have some dice. Let's take a look at these dice. Okay, so the dice have little uh, exclamation points and red triangles. And they have uh, two sides that are blank, two sides that have two of them on there. And one side has uh, just a single, a single result. So these, you know, you roll them. Oh boy, I'm already, I'm already losing dice. Already losing dice. Well, I can roll two two bad things, I assume, and two blank things. I don't know what those results mean, but hopefully they're good. Okay. And then inside here, we have a bunch of different cards. I'm not sure if these are ordered in some way. Uh, we'll take a look. So here are those weird sized one by one like cards. Let's take a look at them and see what they look like. I normally don't, on my box openings, um, open up the cards and look at them. 
And I wonder if that's something that I should do. I was watching other people do some box openings, you know, just keeping up on the times. And I noticed other people open up their their cards and show them. And it could take a long time to do something like that. But is that something you guys like? I, I, let me know. Like, how would you imagine the uh, box opening to go? Like, wh what would be an ideal, perfect box opening for you? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear it. So here we have a bunch of different cards. These are all say encrypted on them, and they have uh, little keywords like money bags, tinker, generalist, ace. So far, they seem completely unique. I'm not seeing any. Uh, okay, so there was no unique ones or no um, repeat ones there that I could see. And then here we have some looks like uh, items that you can put in your ship. They have. Uh, probably what means like what this can go to like what you can equip this to yeah so these look like they are ship parts that you can equip to your ship so these are ship parts and these might be something else maybe uh maybe like a personality trait that you can get or something and so we have some of these so these are the cards let's open one of them let's at least open one of them let's see what they look like give you guys a better idea of what the game is because maybe you want to pick it up all right, so here we go. So this one says action deck here. So we have uh, the, the, so let's see. The back side of the card just says action deck. And then on the reverse, it's uh, that symbol that we've seen with one logo in the corner. It says reactor plus two actions. And these are okay. So there's a, a good amount of those types of cards. Again, the tactile feel. These I don't know if you can hear it. You probably can't. But there's a um, there's definitely a tactical feel to the cards. It feels nice. It's almost like you don't want to put sleeves on them because it's got a matte finish with a nice touch to it. So these ones say damage plus one damage, and that's all those ones say. So the little logo on there plus one damage. These ones say plus two actions. All right, let's take a look at another one. See what this one is. Do do do. Okay. This is why I don't normally do this stuff because, like, opening them can take longer, and then it can be awkward if you're like unable to open a piece of plastic, and you're like, oh man, look at me. Here I am. Like I'm dropping plastic everywhere. It's going everywhere. It's going all over my equipment. Okay. So this one we have on your turn uh, turn text so it says option one collect a contract you can select a contract invite allies negotiate roll your hazard dice attempt the contract distribute any rewards you receive and subtract hazard from your prestige then you have option two you can state your base take a credit draw two objectives and keep a card and keep one uh, optional discard a contract and replace it or you can end and you can purchase so purchase ship parts and or crew discard cards and draw five new cards so it's interesting i i like as i'm reading this if i had not already known about this game and you're reading this for the first time i like the idea that you have to choose are you going to be um are you going to be uh, action related like am i going to go do things am i going to go for the mission, am I going to bring people with me? Am I going to be successful, which is going to bring me higher rewards? Or are you going to stay at the base, play it easy, you know, set up your turn a little bit, be cautious, or end your turn and just refill your hand? I kind of, I kind of like that kind of stuff. So again, we have five of those, and then we have these are probably missions. So what do these say? Contracts. So see, these are contracts that you can take. So one says reactor failure, blockade run, kill slavers, space anomaly. The art on these are some of these are really nice so yeah so that's a bunch a bunch of those yeah these are all contract cards so I'm assuming most of these are gonna be the same these look like more action deck cards yeah action deck action deck so these are more action cards you can draw one shield one's more damage so we're not gonna open those um, but overall I'm liking what I'm seeing and we'll um, put these somewhere for now we'll just put them there Okay, so that looks like that's the end of it. I have yet to open a game here on the on the channel that's like a massive game with minis and 
expansions after expansions like those box openings are going to take like an hour i suspect like a long freaking time um well maybe not really an hour but they'll take some time so that's the end of the box opening i hope you guys checked it out this is moonrakers again if you haven't uh, already seen this game before check it out i'll have some leaks in the description box below so if you're interested in seeing more about it you can check it down there for the giveaway, I'm going to have you guys leave a comment somewhere down below with Milky Way somewhere in your comment. I appreciate everyone who has been supporting the channel and helping us grow. We are finally partnered with YouTube. That is awesome. So I appreciate all of you guys. We have like, I think a group of like 30 of you, at least minimum 30 of you that are strong supporters that I see uh, all the time. So again, I know that you're there. I know you're commenting. And I appreciate all you guys are doing. So that is it for now. Thank you again. I will see you on Monday.